All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and our second video in the series here reviewing the core scenarios from the Bolt Action Core rules here. So uh, we previously looked at scenario one, which again, if you haven't seen the video yet, it's basically no man's land here, which is where the or what the map is referencing. Pretty basic kind of kill them all mission. Uh, kill points. Scenario two is very similar, so meeting engagement, but throws a couple wrinkles on here. So basically, um, as before, so locate and engage the enemy forces and inflict as much damage as possible. So setup here, both players will roll a die. High player picks a long edge and declares which, again, if any units are left in reserves, and again, can be up to half rounding down. Other player does the same. No units um, are set up on the table here, though, and any units not left in reserve uh, form the player's first wave. So basically, people are walking on the board. And then the objective, again, is simple. Um, locate uh, the other side and destroy as much as possible while minimizing your own losses. All right, so battle begins. During turn one, both players bring their first wave onto the table. So these units can enter the table from any point along the ta uh, their side's table edge and either have to run on or advance naturally, right? The two orders that uh, essentially involve movement. Note that no order test is required to move them onto the table as part of this first wave. So they, again, they just show up and that's nice because again, you at least know what is actually going to be available to you on turn one. Game duration, fairly uh, typical here. So again, at the end of turn six, roll a die. One, two, three, the game is over. Four, five, six, play one more turn. And victory, very similar, again, to scenario one. So um, basically, if you win by two or more victory points, you win. Otherwise, it's a draw, and you get a victory point for every enemy unit destroyed. So very simple stuff here. So what is really the difference between this and No Man's Land? Well, we get the preparatory bombardment there and there's no um, visibility shenanigans or anything on turn one so that's the main difference is their setup's going to be a little bit different as well but um, it's just a variation on uh, again another kill point mission that's always good because um, you know you don't want every single battle to basically be well I'm just going to put all my stuff on the table opponent does the same and then we're just going to do battle that's fun but um, at some point you know you want some variety here so this is just a different take on that and again, we could spice this up with some of the things we briefly mentioned in our video on uh, No Man's Land, right? So bring in things like, well, night fighting for the whole thing, um, weather conditions from some of the campaign books and stuff like that. So lots and lots of other ways to jazz this up a little bit and, again, just provide that variety so it, it, it doesn't get boring for you. But let us know in the comments, guys, what your favorite... Um, uh, instances or games of meeting engagement have been and how that's gone for you and um, what uh, typically you know if you're if you're playing the scenario what um, what have you kind of focused on making sure is part of your first wave versus reserves and um, you know how much uh, do you put in your reserves if any um, so you know little things like that to consider so um and right again can be up to half rounding down. So really, you don't have to. Now you can bring on the first wave, and that could be your whole army. But uh, you know reserves might make sense at some point too, though, just to see you know what the opponent really has and how they're going to deploy, and then that can kind of let you hopefully come on afterwards and deal with them if they've maybe um, not uh, deployed all that wisely based on the the game. Now it's certainly easy to add again some extras on here, maybe like capture a certain point on top of it as well for an extra victory point. So you can, you know, add on little extra things or, you know, maybe even blow up uh, a certain location, uh, getting into some of the things that we'll see later with like demolition and so on. Uh, maybe you have to destroy a certain point or something like that. You know, you could um, add on sort of a bounty to a given enemy unit, maybe an extra uh, victory point if you blow up their highest unit or maybe take out their commander, um, you know, things like that. So, but anyway, let us know in the comments, guys. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, check out our posts so we have the ability to finally do that. Um, so, and that's all thanks to everybody uh, supporting the channel. So, we're kind of trying to put out stuff daily on that. Um, so, uh, be on the lookout there. And uh, that's another way for everybody to sort of participate and engage in things on the channel. So, we've got more things planned. But um, for now, this is it for Scenario 2. We'll be back with Scenario 3 shortly. Thanks so much as always, guys. We'll see you in the next one.